Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me again. So what I'm going to be doing is a video where I rate 10 of the decks that my husband pulled for me. I seen this brilliantly fun idea over on Sylvia's channel, which is Fairlight Tarot. And so earlier today, I had my husband go down and pick out 10 from over there, 10 from that area um, between, sorry, I don't mean to go so fast, but tarot and oracle. And I need to pull one deck out at a time and rig them. So this is gonna be a whole lot of fun. So let me get the camera set up and I'm gonna dig in here blindly because I don't know what decks he put in here. So this is going to be fun, but it's also going to be a little bit stressful at the same time. And I might just do a little how I would actually, you know, rate these decks from 1 to 10 at the end in comparison to what I actually do in the beginning or, you know, throughout this. Okay? All right. So I have a sheet ready. I'm just going to put it over here. And I'm going to reach in the bag blindly and pull out a deck. <laughs> okay, damn it. <laughs> so this one is so friggin' cute. And I got it to do readings. I mean, it is so cute. Oh my God. To do readings for Sully and Oliver. And I still haven't done any, which reminds me, I need to. Sully, stop licking. My dog is neurotic. He definitely needs a reading. Oh, I don't know what else he has picked, but I'm going to put this as a, just because I'm not a huge tarot animal person, but there is meaning for this in, so I'm going to put this as eight. Wise dog tarot. All right. So that was eight. All right, let's dig into the bag. Let's pick something else. Tarot Del Delanue. Delanue. I think this is really pretty. I've not really used it since I purchased it. Okay, so I'm going to put this. Man, it is so beautiful. I could see doing like uh, story times with this. Pairing this up with uh, the Oracle of Mystical Moments, too. I could see that. Oh, that reminds me of Jon Snow. Oh, man, is he a looker. I could see doing love readings with this also. All right, I'm going to put this at a seven. Tarot de la Nuit. Nuit. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so what else do we got in this bag? Oh, <laughs> Angels and Auras Oracle. This one is really cool. This was one I was getting ready to pull out to work with the other oh no 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 this is a different one i was thinking of the kyle gray one let me look at this really quick perfect timing 
Okay, so I'm not huge on the artwork, but I do like the messages. But as far as even my oracles go, it's pretty low on the list. So I'm going to put this as number nine. Which I'm really painting myself into a corner right here. Angels and Auras Oracle. All right. If you haven't done this, do it. I've watched a couple videos of this and it is, it's daunting to watch because you see people struggling, but at the same time, it's funny because, I mean, once you get all of them out, right? You don't. It's probably going to be different. What's this one? Oh. <laughs> now if I can get it open. My Deviant Moon. Hmm. This is a really super cool deck but I don't know what else is still in the bag. What's in the box? Man, this is so cool. But this is definitely something that I don't use every day. I mean, none of my decks do I use every day. Some more so than others though. But, but. This is great for like shadow work. This is great for like around Halloween. Oh God, I love that. <laughs> Aliens attacking the, for the tower. That is just excellent. Mm, okay, I'm gonna put this at six. The Deviant Moon Tarot. And I do love these backs too. I love the shape of these cards, everything. I love that they're actually a little bit longer. The artwork is dark and just good. All right, what else do we got here? Oh, I've used these many, many times. They're not really my favorite artwork, but such good messages are on these. Yes, these are great for like doing uh, the live readings and stuff. I've used these doing live readings. I really do like the messages in the bottom of these cards. Sorry. The artwork isn't so bad. I just, if these were all framed in white, it would be so much better. I don't like all the different colors. And I don't really care for all these these color combinations. I mean, I understand that it was done elementally, but I think if these were all just in white or like a cream color, this would be a much more gorgeous deck. But as it stands, I, I like how it reads. So I'm going to put that at number, mm, man, I think I'm going to do number four, Angel Tarot cards by Radley Valentine. All right, what else do we got here? Let's go over on this side. <laughs> How cool is this? Oh, yes. <laughs> This is one of them that he actually, because <laughs> I had been looking at this one. This was quite a while ago. I had been looking at this one and I had looked at the other one, the Poe, and he had seen the other one at the metaphysical store. And I told him, no, it was the other one, the, the black and white. 
and I picked it up. I, I showed him, I said it was this one, but I seen like three other decks that I had wanted more at the time. So I picked out those and then he picked this up also. He's like, you're going to get this one too. I know you want it. Just get it. We're here. Just get it. So this one is super cool. Wow. Super cool also. And you can match this up with some really cool artwork. Let's see what the saying is. Let's see, like, all right, you know what? Let me just pick one. All right, there it is. That came flying out. Ten of well, wells. And neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons down under the sea can ever discover my soul from the... Hang on, where's my glasses? I don't know. What does that say? Discover my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. Hmm. Even the backs of these are super cool. And the gilding. Okay. I think I'm going to do number three. So we've still got one, two, five, and ten. I write big. I should have given myself more space in between those. But. See what else he picked. He did good. All right, what else we got? Oh gosh. Oh, I love this deck. Oh, I am not a usually, right? But he's picking like the ones, I swear. I'm not usually like a black and white or like a monotone, you know, like sepia and black or grayscale. But this Anaturian artwork just friggin' speaks to me. Wow. This is just an amazing deck. Usually, I think the reason I don't like the black and white is because it usually is like such simple artwork. And there is absolutely nothing simple about this artwork. There is so much depth and feeling in this, in these drawings. I just, it blew me away. I think this was the first, first ones or the first deck that was like this that really made me see it and you know see like monotone decks in a different way but i mean how can you not with anaturian's artwork so i'm gonna put this just because i don't know what else is in there i'm gonna put this at two tarot of the abyss because i do love this and it gives really good in-depth readings it's just absolutely stunning. She's such a beautiful artist. All right, what else we got here? Oh, through the eyes of the soul. All right. Let's look at this. Run wild for a while. Keep the vigil, justice will triumph. Hmm. This is really cool. I bet you this will go really good with the Bible tarot. But this is actually really like Avalonian to me and Celtic.
All right, I think I'm going to put this in the number five spot. What is this? The Through the Eyes of the Soul. Okay. And this is beautiful. I am such a fortunate person. All right, what else we got? We got two left. We got one and ten. What do we got in here? What do we got in here? Oh, my God. <laughs> Mm. Wow. I adore this deck so much. This is like, if you've been here longer than a minute, you know this is like my favorite kind of artwork right here. These bags are glorious. I even love that the border is like filigree and there's like filigree um, around like the um, the title and on the numbers and the letters up at the top. It's just such an elegant and classic looking deck. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is going to have to be number one. Yeah. This is going to have to be number one. Whew. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this cardstock. Oh, I mean, it is like matte, beautiful matte. A little bit bigger, but mm, I love it. Okay, so the Revival Art or Revival. Our tarot. <laughs> we'll see what the last one is. Oh, you're killing me, Jeff. You're killing me. The Crow Tarot. God, I love this deck, too. I... Oh. For saying I don't like animal tarot... Which, for the most part, I don't. But, like, the Wise Dog Tarot, right? And this one. And I think they're both um, MJ Colonon. It's like I can put up with... Not put up. That's terrible to say. But I just love her artwork so much that I guess it's easier for me to connect with animal decks. But crows feel different to me. They feel like messengers, right? Harbingers of messages because they even have the thing if it's one crow it's this if it's two crows it's this if it's three crows I've got a like a picture showing what it is I don't know offhand what they are but this would definitely not be my 10th deck but I have to put it in the 10th spot mm. yeah how sad the crow tarot Okay, so in my first spot was the Revival Art Tarot. The second spot was Tarot of the Abyss. The third spot was the um, Poe Tarot. Then the Angel Tarot cards. Through the Eyes of the Soul. The Deviant Moon Tarot. Tarot de la Nue. Wise Dog Tarot, Angels, and Aura's Oracle, and the Crow Tarot. So give me a second and let me reorder these and show you what I would have put them in order. Okay, so I would have done in the first spot the Revival Art Tarot, and that's what I put it in. So that was correct, or that was a good rating. Tarot of the Abyss would have been my second spot. My third spot would have been the Crow Tarot not the Poe Tarot. My fourth spot would have been the Poe Tarot, not Angel Tarot cards. My fifth spot 
is through the eyes of the soul, which is also what I had here through the eyes of the soul. So the sixth one, I would have put the deviant moon tarot, and that's what I have is a deviant moon. For the seventh, I would have put the angel tarot cards instead of the tarot de la Noue. The eighth, I would have put the tarot uh, de la Noue instead of the wise dog tarot. In the ninth, it would have been the wise dog tarot instead of the angels and auras oracle. And in the tenth spot, it would have been the angels and or auras oracle instead of the crow tarot. So there you go. Oh my gosh, this was so much fun. I might have my hubby do it again, maybe in six months and try to pick some different ones just to see. Because it is a lot of fun or have different people. You know, like maybe the next time I'll have my son pick some. Um, and, and maybe I'll just have him do Altero or, you know, something like that. Because I do have quite a large, almost like 500 decks. So, and they didn't go through all of the areas. My husband went through my bookshelf and my cubbies, but I have a bunch of decks that are down here um, at my desk area too that he didn't go through. So thank you for spending this time with me. Sylvia, if you watch this, this was a brilliant idea. I love that you and your husband uh, did this and that you had so much fun with it. And I hope other people uh, see this and jump on it too because it is fun and I did watch Carrie do this from Carrie's Mystical Musings. Uh, she did a really good job and who else did I see do this? I don't remember. I feel, uh, was it Tammy Pie? I don't know. Was it Antoinette? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my memory is so bad I'm sorry guys <laughs> but thank you for spending this time with me and I am sending you love always